And that's it. Okay, we're here with the, the final step in putting a Nikon or really any other mount on your red. We have to set the flange focal distance and red has supplied this wonderful adjustable mount here which moves the whole uh, existing lens mount in and out, making it very easy to do. Um, what you'll do is you take a four millimeter hex wrench and you're going to loosen these two hex bolts. Then you're able to turn this in and out and get your final focus, but how do you do that? Well, what I would suggest you do is <clears throat> pick a mark on your lens. For example, I've picked three feet. I haven't picked 1.5 feet because, or rather, I haven't picked one, feet, one foot because the lens doesn't really go any closer than for one foot. I picked three feet as, as a good uh, distance. Then I'm going to set my, my chart up. This is an Airy Seaman Star chart. I got out of the John Fowler book. Really great for focusing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this, this tape measure and I'm going to get that chart very, very uh, precisely three feet from the film plane, from the, the sensor plane. Um, and then that gives us a question, well, where is the sensor plane in the camera? Uh, manufacturers put a, a hook, a focus hook, usually on this side of the camera, possibly on this side of the camera, so that someone can run a, a tape measure, hook the tape measure on. This one doesn't seem to have one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've set my dial caliper for 46.5 millimeters, and I'm going to use the depth gauge. This is going to sort of tell me where the, the sensor is. Um, it's very, very close, if not right on, to this part of the camera. And why don't you pull back, Bruce, and give the people. So I'm going to say that this is where I think the film plane is. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any mark or anything here for it. But if I measure 46.5 millimeters from my lens mount, which is right here, and using the depth part of the caliper, I see that it's right there. Um, very, very close. You only need to get within a few millimeters. It's plenty. Then I'm going to take my camera and move it until I have 36 inches to the chart. Now, once I've done that, leave my lens set on three feet. I'm going to use my focus chart uh, and a monitor. Might be a good idea to hook up the biggest monitor you have. The monitor that we have right now is the existing LCD. Now I'm going to adjust this until I feel my semen stars are the sharpest. And I think it's right there. I'm going to do that again. And as I say, I, I would... I would do this with the largest monitor I, I could. You can also use um, the peaks and valleys here, or the peaks in the focus assist, but it seems to me that actually using the Seaman Star on a, a big screen TV, I don't, not, don't know what the outputs of the camera are, uh, is the best thing to do. Once you've done that and you feel confident that you've focused the, the lens at three feet on a chart that's three feet away, the camera film plane is three feet away. Take this, tighten these guys back down. Once again, don't over tighten. Snug them up one, one by one, go back and forth. And now you've set it. Really, really convenient, wonderful design. And um, as I say, I, I believe the film plane on the camera is this surface here, this, this surface, not this surface or this bevel here, but actually this surface. Now, here's the problem with setting your camera depth up with this method. We've just set the camera up so that it focuses correctly. That is, the focus marks on this lens are correct, but for this particular lens. Um, Camera technicians would keep a lens like this. This would be their shop standard lens. It would never leave the shop. It would be calibrated. It would be correct so that the footage scale is correct. So whatever camera they put this on and calibrate to this lens would be correct. You may not have a shop standard lens. What I would do is take your bestest, newest uh, 
uh, Nikon lens that you have, set your camera up to, uh, to that using, say, the three foot mark, the two foot mark, the four foot mark, whatever is convenient. Use a wide lens. Um, set the camera and then test all your other lenses to make sure your focus marks are correct uh, if you do focus with a tape measure as most filmmakers do. Um, if you find that you have six lenses, five of them are dead on and one of them is off, then chances are the five of them are correct and the one is off. Is off. If you have six lenses and they've all been in, a, in a, the bottom of a camera bag for years and years, they've been banging around, and three of them are dead on and three of them are off, then I really don't know what to tell you what to do. You probably want to go out and get a hold of a brand new Nikon lens and set your camera with that lens. Um, I've set this one up with this uh, Nikon 28mm. Uh, I would suggest you use a wide lens. Don't use a telephoto. A telephoto has very shallow depth of focus, which is handy when you're using a Siemens Star, but inside the camera I'm sorry, very shallow depth of field, but inside the camera is very deep depth of focus. Um, you want a shallow depth of focus inside the, the camera, so use a wide lens for that. Um, 28 millimeter, a 20 millimeter, a 22, get the chart close. Uh, then you can check the focus at other, link, at other lengths, check 5 feet, check 7 feet by moving your chart in and out. Um, so that's it.